Hello, everybody. How are you doing this fine, fine, deaf, fine? Oh, fine, fine day. I just noticed I had an issue uh, getting my uh, slides for today loaded. I was, I just uploaded them and figured they'd be fine and just ignored it and it didn't work. So we're going to try it again while I'm chatting with you. I'm going to first go over to Twitch and make sure that my emote only is off there and that everything just looks good. It does. So we've got that done over there. We will check this out here and it looks good here. We will go to YouTube. I will like myself. Oh, good. It it did download. And I'm going to share this to the Twix first and the Threadosphere. So, nope, that's not what we need. We're going to tell them that we're live. And we're going to add my links. We'll cut it, paste it, post it over here on Twix. Hello, Twix. Yes, it is there. And then we're going to go over here to threads and we will post it over here in threads. And that is done there. I'm going to... Um, Thank you, Mr. Angel, for uh, dropping by. You have a wonderful, wonderful uh, evening. Um, absolutely. Save that garden. Gardens are beautiful. Need to do that. Um, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a poll. I'll talk a little bit more about uh, the different choices. Um, but um, I like this anime genre best oh that was a question i don't want to start a question i want to start a poll what's wrong with these people i could do a question that one would be really neat start a poll here we go i like this anime genre best the first one i'm going to do is showed you or Sojo, which is, I'm just going to put romance. It's a little more deeper than that, but just to kind of give a little, um, like, prompt. And then we're going to do Shonen, which is like adventure. And then we're going to do, add an option, sign in. Seen, which is mature. I'm going to put dark, dark themes. And then the next one's going to be Esekai. Or Isekai. Which has been transported. Other world. So those are the three that I'm going to put and for our poll today. So we got the poll done and they probably should have been capitalized and I didn't capitalize them and I apologize. So um, here we go. Um, let's check out the chat here. And who do we have first? We have Sci-Fi Mommy, good morning. Good morning to you. And I guess it did nuclear, nuke your earlier comment. So uh, good morning uh, and thank you. And you have a great day at work. We have Siri Bot and Stream Elements to join. Mr. Angel is on a mission to help save the neighbor's garden. So uh, he will not be here this morning. Uh, but uh, I wish you success. Um, and thank you for all that, Dad Man. And you are soaking wet. Yep. That does happen when you have to go out and do a rainstorm. I have done that many times. And we have Corey Cochran. Hello to you. 
Uh, and we have Lady V Elements. Good morning. Good morning. I hope everyone is having a good, I guess it's Monday, isn't it? A good Monday. Mm. I am um, going to do my bill today at 1 o'clock. So I'm excited about that. Well, for those of you, I'm going to do a quick um, description in the in the poll to describe the, uh, what the different genres are so that um, if someone doesn't understand, they can. And um, here we go. Uh, shoujo uh, is a genre that includes anime made for young girls and its character by its focus on romance, drama, and personal growth. It often features female leads who navigate the ups and downs of love and relationships and experience personal growth as they mature and face life's challenges. Examples of this are like Sailor Moon and Fruit Baskets. Then we have Shonen. This genre often follows male leads as they go on epic quests, overcome obstacles, and face off against formidable foes. Uh, it's targeted towards young boys and is characterized by its focus on action, adventure, and passionate friendships. Uh, this genre often follows male leads as they go on epic quests. Um, and Oh, well, I already said that. Um, Naruto is an example of that uh, type of um, anime. Uh Shinen, Seinen, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I have heard it. And then I promptly, promptly forgot it. So my apologies. It caters to the interests usually of older male audiences. Um, I, it includes mature themes and serious tones. Um, it uh, features darker, grittier themes and tackles more complex, thought-provoking concepts. It's known for its mature storytelling, Morally gray characters and social societal critique. Death Note and Monster are uh, some of those. And then we have um, Isekai. Uh, this genre often explores the protagonist's struggle to adapt to their new environment and to find a place in the new world. They're transported to a new world and then they have to adapt. Um, it, da, 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 da. it is a genre that features, uh, da, da. it explores the protagonist's struggle to adapt and to find a place in their new world. Types of this anime are Sword Art Online and uh, uh, RE0. Um, so those are the different ones for you to vote on. We have four votes already. We have the Shonen is in the lead with 50%. Uh, Shining C9 Sinan is in second and Isekai is in second. I tell you, I like I, I kind of like the shows you the best. Um so okay, we have got that. And let's do this really quickly here. Um oh that made me a little nervous there. Um, let's talk about park streamers. Uh, their uh, goal is to raise $5,000 for the Children's Hospital of on uh, Orange County. Uh, I am sure with a lot of your guys' support by either even just posting the thread to different streams, uh, they have so far, their goal is, I'm going to actually put the website on the page so you can see, Three thousand eight hundred and twenty-one dollars. They had this walk isn't until July, so they might actually reach this goal and raise it another thousand dollars. That would be so cool. But right now they've raised three thousand eight hundred and twenty-one dollars um, through uh, the support uh, through whoops through um, people like you. So thank you very much. And we have a Peter Foot here. Hello, hello. You are new, a new face and welcome, welcome. So let's see, where have we gotten to here? Um, did I get your high yesterday? 
Are you talking to me? Um, yes. And good, as I said before, good morning, Peter Foote. I hope you are doing well. Yeah, I like the ones that kind of mix up the genres. I have uh, seen Naruto. I have heard about this, and I know it's extremely, extremely popular, but I have not watched it. And I know I've heard amazing things about it, amazing things. <laughs> Morning, Peter. <laughs> oh, and it could be another way, too. <laughs> oh, Lady B. Okie doke. Yes, I think I, I, I would. Yes, uh, I was not sure as I was in the middle of BFG. I don't know the abbreviation what BFG was when you sent it, but thank you so much for that. Okay, now, I said normally we do birthdays today, but because um, my, my life has changed a little bit and there's stuff that I have to do, um, I'm going to be doing my puzzle edition for a while, probably at least for this month. Um, so off we go to do the puzzle. Oh, wait, first off here, talked about this already. Thank you for supporting them very, very much. And today at 1 p.m., I'm going to continue to work on this build. I got the base finally done um, and it's pretty sturdy. So we're going to start working up on the top part um, here with the houses and the plants and looking forward to that a lot. Okie doke. Now it's time for the puzzle. Here we go. We are doing, it is a type of a wordle. It has 32 puzzles in it. And you guys are going to help me sir, uh, do it. We do the one that's called the daily sequence. You do one puzzle at a time. There we go. I'm trying to get it all set up here. And um, as we guess them, if you haven't done Wordle before, I will kind of explain as we go. It is a uh, seems to be a little easier. I will not put chats up on the screen. I'll try to get them all. Hopefully, I will not miss one. The first word I always do to get as many vowels as possible is adieu. And there is absolutely none of those letters in the first word. Now, we don't know about the other ones because they're not going to tell us until we get to them. We have 39 guesses to guess 32 words. So, adieu is not in there at all. So, we need to do a word that has O in it. So, let's do S, P. I usually do sport. That will get me five more letters to uh, put on the list. Um, and it has an O. That O is not in the third spot. So we need to figure out where that uh, other another word. Guys, my throat is extremely dry this morning. So I am going to be drinking a lot. I am not going to mute my mic in between. If it bothers you, let me know and I will mute my mic. Um, but, uh, yeah, I am. Well, no, it's not necessarily a bad start. We're using these letters and later on through the game, it'll get easier. I don't, I'm going to tell you why I don't want to do shorty. The O is in the same spot. It's supposed to be, it's not at, and we already have an S. Oh, middle of nowhere, nowhere. I gotcha. So, uh, that uses, uh. Um, the O is in the third spot. We want to try to move that O from the third spot. And try to use letters that we don't, um, haven't already used. Uh, 
like we can do a W-O-N-K-Y. Those are all letters we haven't used. And the O is in a different spot. And we also use the Y, which is at times in the English language considered a vowel. So wonky. It has a O in the second, a Y at the end, and an N, which is not in the third spot. Huh. And you can double letters, like you could do double O's, double N's, double Y's, uh, or any other double letters for that let matter. We know the O is in the second. We could try... We need to have an N in it because the N is yellow. So it does have to have an N. <sighs> we could try this word. It has to have an N because the N is yellow. We could try knobby. So it's close. We're getting closer. So an N and O and B are in the first three spots and a Y is in the second. Yes, the yellow stays. They're just not in the correct spot. The yellow stays and it's not in the correct spot. If, um, see, because now this N, it goes over here and that is the correct spot for it. This O was yellow. When we put it in the second, it was in this one. The light gray ones are letters you cannot use. And the dark and the, the white ones are the ones that you can use. So, yes. N-O-B-L-Y. So, we got the first word. So, this one has an N, a W, an E, and a T. That we don't know where they go, but the I is in the second. So we've got all the letters. Have been, uh, We've already guessed. We just got to get them in the right order. And while you guys are trying to figure out what that is, which I've got an idea what it is, we've got a lot of uh, celebrations today. So I'm going to go ahead and start. We have Purple Up Day. And I get my uh, information from three websites. My sources are daysoftheyear.com nationaltoday.com, and nationaldaycalendar.com. Um, I could try to rewrite all these, but you know, they do such a good job. I will give them credit for it and uh, read what they say. So National Day Calendar says about Purple Up Day. Uh, during the month of military child, during the month of the military child, Purple Up Day recognizes some of the military's most unsung heroes, their children. The day encourages everyone to wear purple, representing all branches of the military and showing unity with each other. When we wear purple in honor, we let them know, the children know, we support them um, and their families who are in all branches of the military. The Army, Navy, Marine, Coast Guard, Air Force, and the Space Force. Whether they're part of the military family for a short while or their entire childhood, the military child deserves to know they have the support of their community. So twine. Twine is correct. So our next one has an R-Y at the end, and there's an E and an I um, that the e I does not go in the third spot. We have National Laundry Day, and, and that's from National Today. We didn't, generally don't love doing laundry. However, we are thrilled when it is done. Think clean clothes, fresh sheets, and that fresh laundry scent. Do you have a favorite dryer sheet fragrance? If you uh, must know, we here at National Today are par they're partial to lavender. Which brings us to a fun fact. The word laundry comes from the Middle English lavendry, 
which in turn comes from the old French word lavanderie or lavandiere for a person who washes linen. And so here's more. And so today is the day to celebrate National Laundry Day. Fiery. Yes, I believe you're correct. This one has an F in the beginning, an E in the fourth, and a D A T um, are the other ones. National World Art Day. Days of the Year says art has the power to not only bring beauty and light into the world that can often be dark, but it also can make a difference by giving voice to political movements and social change. World Art Day is here to show appreciation for and celebrate those who have made art contributions to the world, as well as the everyday artists that can be alive in all humans. World Art Day seeks to raise awareness about and honor the contributions that various artists have made throughout the world while promoting the importance of art in the lives of each and every human. In addition, the organizers of the day hope that it will pique interest about the importance of art, encouraging art education as a path toward inclusive and equitable education. And um, most everybody probably um, in the United States uh, knows about uh, uh, what a, na a glazed spiral ham is. And today is National Glazed Spiral Ham Day. A national day calendar says this gourmet looking dish often found at, found at a holiday feast it originated in the basement of Harold J. Hanslayer. In 52, the Detroit, Michigan entrepreneur patented not only his spiral slicer, but the ham glaze as well. His innovative device made it possible for the entire bone-in ham to be sliced in one continuous and even spiral. The result was not only perfect for baking, but for serving also. The re resulting slices presented a beautiful main course meal. Then in 57, Hosselier founded Honey Baked Ham. Since the patent expired in 1981, many companies offered glazed spiral hams. However, we continue to thank Harold J. Hohenseller for making them a possibility. So yes, faded. Faded is correct. The next word has an I in the second, an E in the third, and an R and an L letter in it somewhere. And uh, for faded, yes, for us in America, today is tax day. Unless you're due for a hefty refund or working as a highly paid accountant, tax day doesn't usually spark much joy. Although Form 1040 appears shorter nowadays, Filling taxes remains way too complicated for most Americans to do alone. It wasn't always this way. The IRS didn't appear on the scene until 1862. That's when the federal government began to, quote, assess, levy, and collect taxes through its power to seize property and income. Uh, so while still struggling, you can always look into filing an extension to get extra time. Yep. World uh, Tax Day. Blech. What could this? Yeah, Dad Man's accountant. He hated taxes from the start. That's why he doesn't do them. He does other stuff. Does anybody have any idea what this could be? Hello, Penny. <laughs> my grandson, Penny says, my grandson is here today. He wants to play board games, but instead he's wearing the headache cones as claws. <laughs> How silly. And a good morning to you, Penny. Have fun with your grandson today. Does anybody have any idea what this word is? I'm not really sure. So we're going to talk about another day. Is Atwood here? Did I miss Atwood?
What? I don't understand, Dad Man. Was hidden? Oh, I'm sorry. I. Oh, that's right, because I don't necessarily see them. It might. Sorry, everybody. Let me see if I can figure out what's going on. Um, I do not know what happened here. Um, so we are going to... Oh, my goodness. First off, uh, Lady V, I apologize. I do not know what happened. Um, so let me see if I can figure this out. What I'm wondering if what happened was it was uh, a, something was pushed on the phone and um, it and it happened because I have de accidentally deleted people. So I'm going to try to get you back here, Mrs. Lady V, because um, I think I think you're back here. I apologize for your messages being deleted. Um I do not know how to undelete the messages. Uh, I've made you a moderator, so hopefully that will uh, alleviate this um, situation. So, um, so um, okay. So I think everything is okay. I think probably what has happened because I have done it. If his phone is in his pocket it might have accidentally done it because i don't even see him in the chat um and he will always say hello so i'm thinking it is an accident what has happened um so um let's Okay, so Lady V, um, I don't know if I can bring all the chats back because I don't know how to. But I got you back in here. Um, so, okay. Lady V, I have made you a moderator, so they should not be able to time you out now. Um, I, I think it was an accident, because I think sometimes when, um, like, if you hide somebody, or you, they, it deletes all of their chats. Um, so, um, but I've made you a moderator, so that should not happen again. So, ooh, um, I'm so glad you noticed. Um, because I just see all the chats and just keep talking about them. Um, so, okie doke. So let's see if we can figure out this word. Um, that was exciting. So, um, I, I personally, I think it was an accident. I have done it before. Um, I'm just carrying my phone and my, I, I've, a dad man, a person subscribed, and right after he subscribed, I blocked him. <laughs> and I had to get in and fix it. It's like, I'm so sorry, I didn't do that on purpose. I was so afraid he was going to leave in anger. <laughs> I can't believe they blocked me. <laughs> uh, so, 
<laughs> yes, Lady B is now a mod. <laughs> okay, everybody. Well, that was our Monday excitement. No more excitement today. Um, so we have International Micro Volunteering Day. Um, and this is from days of the year. Uh, for anyone who might feel the urge to do something worthwhile or an itch to give back to the community, but you can't seem to quite get around to starting, or you just really don't have a hard, uh, don't have time to do it, International Micro Volunteering Day could be the answer. Micro volunteering is simple. Individuals take convenient, bite-sized actions to support a good cause and often perform them that activity or service from your home. Uh, while some people might wonder exactly what you can do at uh, home, there are all sorts of local, national, and even international options for volunteering without having to leave the house. This could be anything from writing a letter to an el elderly hospital patient or something along the lines of tagging internet photos to help the visually impaired. So, uh, International Micro-Volunteering Day. After all that excitement, do we have any idea what this word can be? I have a few ideas. I think it might be, whoops. Let's see if it could be this word. Viler? More vile. It's not viler, but it is, uh, those letters are in there, so let's flip them around. It's liver. <laughs> A liver. I'm going liver. Liver. What word? It's liver. So it is liver. This one just has a U. That's all we have. And the Y is at the end. So this one is going to be fun. So I thought you have a wonderful day too. Have a good day at uh, at work. So, uh, let's see. We have, uh, today is National Titanic Remembrance Day. National Day calendar says, National Titanic Remembrance Day remembers the lives lost when the Titanic sank into the North Atlantic's icy waters in 1912. Remember the more than 1,500 people who died that day. Known as the, quote, unsinkable ship, the Titanic hit an iceberg at 11.40 p.m. on April 14, 1912. On her maiden voyage from England to New York City, later in the icy waters of the Atlantic Ocean on April 15th, the Titanic sank. Those who perished did so mainly due to the inefficient, inefficient, insufficient number of lifeboats on board the ship. And it's so interesting. Um, we... Uh, when we do the birthdays, we uh, share a lot of the birthdays of those who have perished in the Titanic. And we have Muggy, M-U-G-G-Y. Um, and it is not Muggy, but let's flip those letters around. G-U-M-M-Y and do Gummy. I thought Muggy too. So let's do Gummy because those are the letters they say. And it was Gummy. And then we have an S. At the beginning, an O in the third, a T at the end, and there is a U. And we have Snorter Poopus Cooper. Did your house get clean? Did your house get clean? Uh, I hope it is nice and sparkly. Hello, hello. Today is Jackie Robinson Day. We celebrate the debut of one of the biggest icons of Major League Baseball, Jackie Robinson. National Today uh, kind of shares a little bit of his story, saying, Born to sharecroppers in segregated Georgia, Jackie Robinson rose to the country's greatest heights of professional athletics. Robinson set multiple records and lived a life glittered with many firsts. He was the first black player to be selected for the M MLB, Major League Baseball, and also was the first black lieutenant to protest the laws of segregation on an Army bus. Later in life, he became the first black American to assume the post of vice president of a major company. 
On and off the field, Robinson remained a hero. As he put his baseball cap down in 1957, he became an active participant in politics and supported many black causes. Coaches, players, commentators, and fans dressed uniformly in 42 jerseys and the number 42 jerseys to celebrate Jackie Robinson Day. It could be stout. I'm going to try shout just because I want to get using that letter. And it'll probably be stout. It could be Scout also. Oh, thanks a lot, Lady V. Oh, last night was a rough night with bear-sized tummy issues, says Snorter Poopas. Still a bit woozy today. I understand that when you have tummy aches, it's tummy stuff going on, in the, especially in the middle of the night. Oh, it is horrific. Let's try Shout. It is not Shout, so let's try Scout. Okay, if we do not get, we have got to get the rest of these correct or we're not going to win the game. It is not Scout. It was Stout. We're going to keep playing, though. Um, it was Stout. I should have used your first word, Lady V. That's what I get for not listening to you. So we have Stout. Uh, we have an O, an N, and an E at the end. And... Uh, we don't know what the other letters are, but we can just kind of lay back because it doesn't matter. We'll just guess. It's a National Rubber Eraser Day. National Rubber Eraser Day sweeps in every year, reminding us of the simple but ever so useful erasers role in our lives. This is an occasion to celebrate the rubber eraser. They've been uh, unassumingly correcting our errors and giving us a chance to a do-over for centuries. Yet we give this powerful little tool very little attention. In 1717, Edward Nairn, an English engineer, act they used to use bread, uh, bread and uh, things for erasers, accidentally picked up a piece of rubber instead of breadcrumbs to correct a mistake. Much to his surprise that he discovered its erasing properties. Uh, he then began making and selling rubber cubes back, um, making rubber cubes, uh, marking the birth of the modern eraser. However, these early rubber erasers had a significant drawback. They were perishable. Enter engineer and chemist Charles Goodyear. He revolutionized the rubber industry with his vulcanization process in 1839. Uh, he received a patent from the U.S. Patent Office in 1844. This process made the gum, gum elastic or natural rubble durable and resistant to environmental factors. With this technology, Goodyear created a way for the rubber eraser to become a staple in every school's pencil case. Yes, the rubber industry. Yes, it is a ma manual auto erase. I love that sort of poopers. Um, and we have the word ozone. I believe that's ozone. Just as long as it isn't autocorrect, then we are good. Yes, auto incorrect. And we have insanity welcome. Good morning to you. Um, oh my gosh, this is a horrible word to have today. Everybody in the United States, we should know what this word is. Let's see if you can guess it. I had we talked about this day earlier. I cannot say that we celebrated it. It's also National Take a Wild Guess Day uh, from National Day Calendar. Is it a ca calculated risk to celebrate National Take a Wild Guess Day each year on April 15th? It might depend on how you observe this day. Will you guess how many jelly beans are in the jar or will you estimate your taxes? Depending on how you spend the day, it could be full of hunches and guesses. As a contestant in the game of life, sometimes our only option is to venture a guess at what's around the corner. Our inklings or premonitions may never come to be. The day challenges us to take a stab at making wild predictions. The way they may be way off or right on target. Sometimes we get better at guessing as we go, or we have a knack for it right away. No matter the case, it's just a wild guess. Don't take it so seriously. So tased or taxed? Well, we did. It's, it's not the Z, so it has to be taxed. Yes, on April fifteenth, 
the day that Americans, you, from people from the United, I shouldn't say Americans because they're South Americans, people from the United States of America have, this is the final day, midnight tonight, to submit your taxes to the government. You're, so here we go. Now these are going to probably start getting, uh, I'd rather be tased. I agree. I agree. So this one has two letters. It could either be DAC, what, DACIT or CADET. I'm thinking it's CADET. Okay, this I'm going to let you all go figure out all these letters. This one might be a fun one. Uh, McDonald's Day. National Today says uh, this day falls on the anniversary day of when Ray Kroc opened his first McDonald's restaurant in Des Plaines, Illinois in 1955. Most, if not all, people around the world know this name, we believe. It is one of the world's largest fast food restaurant chains. Did you know Ray Kroc was not the founder of McDonald's? The founder were, you guessed it, the McDonald brothers. The current corporation credits its founding to Ray Kroc. So let's celebrate this McDonald's Day in honor of Kroc, as well as the restaurant's founders, the McDonald's brothers. Mmm. Broth. It is broth. This one is a double letter giddy. This one is maybe. These are all the letters are right there. So truer. Whoops, I typed in the wrong letter. Curvy. I'll let you go. I'm going to read one more. We got three more days to talk about. We have National ASL Day. American Sign Language is used by those who cannot speak or hear. It's um, Sign language is different in different countries, just as uh, the spoken word is. So this is the American sign language. It is used by people part of uh, is used by the part of the deaf community. The universality of sign language has helped such people to communicate across language bar barriers. Through the through though the written word is also a way to communicate. It's clunky. Sorry, I can't get my words out. It's clunky, lacks expression, and is time-consuming, especially when a message needs to be given fast. American Sign Language is also used by those who can speak and hear, but need to communicate with those who cannot. In some countries, sign language is also one of the official languages, as it is a necessary step toward inclusivity. Yes, the idea of Ray Kroc being a founder of Mickey D's is a Kroc. And spoon, spoon. And then we have uh, F-O at the beginning and A-C-L as the letters. National That Sucks Day. <laughs> Days of the Year says, Sometimes you just need to accept that the world is a lot. Is... <laughs> I got to start over because this makes me laugh. Sometimes you need to just. <laughs> Sometimes you need. You just need to accept that the world at large is a giant suck fest. You got to get up in the morning. Did we mention you have to get up in the morning? You drink coffee, which is most certainly not the finest Copa Loal blend. You get off to work through bad traffic and it doesn't pay enough. Have lunch at that diner that's always so disappointing. You stay late because your boss is a jerk and doesn't understand schedules. And you drive home with cops that are no doubt out cruising for quota tickets. In short, everything is terrible and anyone who tells you different is trying to sell you something. That suck day brings awareness to this fact and is a great way to shut down those naysaying optimists no one really likes anyway. <laughs> <laughs> They're positively, positively <laughs> in a perpetual bad mood. <laughs> Focal. And we have ledge. Whoops. Ledge. And oh, <laughs> and we have an A, uh, L at the end, and then a V and an I. 
Hmm. Oh, I know what that is. And um, Lady V said, the, the world is a giant crockhead. And Snorter Pooh says, sucking isn't always bad, or so I've heard. <laughs> Lady V, L LMAO, they can't stop me. After a hard work day, could use the stress relief. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Let's check out our poll here real quick. Oh, excuse me. Let's see. How is our poll doing here? We have nine votes. We have nine people watching. And we have doo, 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 11 likes. Thank you very much. Um. The, uh, all three of these are tied. The Shonen, Sh Shonen, Seinen, and Isekai. The Adventure, the Dark Themes, and the Transports to the Other World. And we now have Shonen is in the lead with 10 votes. Very good, very good. So we have a veil, a veil, A-V-A-I-L. Oops, let me. Put my cursor where it'll actually work. A veil. Then we have Mosey. And then we have Video. And then we have Lipid. They like to use that word a lot. Too many for anal and too few for asshole. <laughs> I was kind of thinking the same thing. We have CD. The word is already there. We have a O, an E, and an R in place, and then a P and a W. We have one more day. I'll wait till the end to uh, read this one. Um, so um, I think we know what this is. It is power. I have got a ton of memes, so I'm really looking forward to getting to them. And then we have a Knave. I know it's Knave. I just like saying Knave. And then we have Welsh, because the S is on thing, modal, lover. Then we have uh, D, uh, O, D, G, E at the end, and we need to know what the first letter is. Um, I'll go ahead and read our last uh, uh, celebration, which is National Anime Day. That's why I did the poll. Anime from days of the year. Anime has been a popular favorite among people of all ages especially young people. I don't agree with that anymore. Uh, for the past few decades, anime characters and series such as Bleach, One Punch Man, Cowboy Bebop, Sword Art Online, Fruits Baskets, uh, Death Note, all of those is um, have, all infil all, have all infiltrated the genre of media as an interesting form of entertainment. National Anime Day is all about celebrating the history of anime and bringing people together to enjoy their favorite anime show and characters. The day even has its own convention. It's held in, at multiple convention locations all over the United States. National Anime Day gives a day for the stories that anime has told and how those stories, voice actors, and creators have helped bring people together. So now it's time to celebrate the day. We have Q Hannah Balkin Gaming. Hello, hello. How are you today? I hope you're doing good. Uh, we have our poll. I hope you voted in it um, on anime. Uh, we are going to finish our last um, three words. We've we we have not we did not solve the puzzle. Um, we failed, but we're still finishing the puzzle. So we have dodge, birth, and fully. So yep, we did not win. We have a sad face and a red screen. Boo hoo hoo! But um, yes, because we did not win, I am not reading all the words. I only read all the words if we did if we if we successfully solve the puzzle. So um, there we go. Better luck next time. The word that got us was stout. Um, Lady V said stout first. Should have used the first one like my I'm supposed to do, but I didn't. I used shout, then scout, and then stout, and that that's what had us lose the word. 
Oh, <laughs> and happy Monday to you, Hannah Balking. I can now, let's get all our stuff put back on here. Let me put my little thing there. Let's put the, um, nope, that's not what I want to do. Let's go here and put this one here so we can all have all that. Um, if anybody needs any definitions of those anime categories, let me know. I will. Yes, the heck. Thank you, Lady V. You always feel the heck with what that board says. You've been called stout and you've drunk stout, says I've been called stout and I've drunk stout, says snort of poop is cute. <laughs> Oh, goodness gracious. And yes, happy Monday to you too, Hannah Balking01, both on the YouTube and the Twitch side. Thank you so much for that. Let's check our poll here. We have 11 votes and Shonen is going in the lead. Uh, that is kind of the adventure. Um, they say it's for young boys. I don't think you can really say for, I mean, I know how they categorize them and that's probably their higher market. But um I think there's uh, any gender watches these stuff now. But uh, Shonen, the adventure one with like Naruto is in first. Uh, Sinan, which is mature darker themes like Death Note and Monster is in second along with Isekai, which is those that transport to another world, which I can't remember um, any titles. Reborn, uh, I think it was. I can check. Um, a couple of them were Sword Art Online. That's right. So very good. Very good. Um, so it is now meme time. I'm going to go ahead and start these memes because I got a lot of them because there were so many. They were so fun. And I do have a show today at 1 p.m. Uh, to work on my build of the uh, Sakura house. Um, and I got past the horrible part. And I build up to where we can start doing the fun part again, I'm hoping. So let's see how that works out. So here we go. It is time for something meaningful. Can we guess what our memes are about today? Yes. And Sanity, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you so much. Uh, you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Um, yes, we have something meaningful today. Uh, guess what it is? Yes, it is National Laundry Day. So we are doing laundry memes. I didn't think there'd be so many laundry memes that made me laugh, but they did. A laundry day. Put it off until you only have one thing left to wear. <laughs> yep. Yep. And if you're at home, you might wait until you have nothing left to wear. For rule, for rule, for laundry rules, every kid follows. Keep everything inside out. Make sure underwear is attached to the pants. Do not empty the pockets. And if it touches you even for a second, it's dirty. So true. Yes, relatable. So relatable. If you've ever had children, you're like, yep. Sometimes I wish I could be the load of laundry in my dryer so I could sit in a dark, quiet space and everybody would ignore me for at least a week. I hate the ones that just take something off the hanger, look at it, don't even try it on if it goes into dirty clothes. I hate turning pants and socks right side out. The socks I turn right side out because of that. But sometimes I, uh, it's a difficult thing because sometimes to have the clothes last longer, I put them inside out. But if they're kids and their clothes are filthy, you want them the other way so all the nasty will get cleaned off. Can't decide if I should start this laundry or fake my own death. <laughs> yep. I 
And Snorter Poopa says, do what I do. Don't wear pants or socks. Guys, I am drinking without muting my mic. If it annoys you, let me know and I will mute my mic. You might not even be able to hear it, but it sounds very loud to me. So if it annoys you, let me know. Whoops. Screen went a little wonky there. When you've been doing laundry all day, but the pile just keeps growing. <sighs> okay, as long as it doesn't annoy anybody. But if it does, I know there's some people that are very sensitive to, to noises and sounds. And if, if it does bother anybody, um, uh, please let me know and, and I will stop. It's just much more, I'm so parched this morning um, that I'd have to mute my mic like every two minutes. Oh, that man doesn't even hear it. Okay. Have you ever looked at the last few loads of laundry and considered just throwing them away? Uh, yes. Ah. Uh. Yes, I have. <laughs> Dead man, turn it up. It's hot. <laughs> Sometimes you might feel like no one's there for you, but who knows? You know who's always there for you? Laundry. Laundry's always there for you. Laundry will always be your companion. That should actually be the doctor's companion, laundry, because it's always there. Based on the amount of laundry I do each week, I'm going to assume that there are people who live here that I have not met yet. <laughs> yes, cries on laundry shoulder. <laughs> I hate doing laundry. Laundry will set forever in my house and then it will get washed and it'll set. It does. It sets in the dryer for a couple of days and then it gets into a hamper and it sets in a hamper a couple of days. And I might fold them or I might just take them out of the hamper and wear them all wrinkly and nasty because I don't care because I'm at home and nobody's going to see me. And on screen, if I if you do see me, you see my arm and I wear a long sleeve shirt that's not wrinkly. So absolutely, yes. It's time to do laundry, which means I need to go to par Target and to buy some new clothes. <laughs> uh, yours does too, but I'm trying to teach kids to fold and put it away. <laughs> I'm just happy if it gets to their room at this point. To be honest, I do all my ironing in the dryer. <laughs> yes. Yes. I just finished doing laundry. And now I have to fold it. Ah! It's sort of purposes. What are clothes? Absolutely. It's a good thing to be a bear at times. Yep. No iron needed. Yeah, a lot of the clothes today, if you take them out of the dryer on time, therein lies the problem. How many people have dried the clothes and then they're all really, really badly wrinkled? So you take like a wet towel or a washcloth, you dampen it, you throw it in to get a little bit of moisture and you run the dryer again with the hopes that you'll get it out before they get all wrinkly again. How men sort laundry? Filthy. Filthy but wearable. <laughs> you used a shower and a hotel was an iron, although you almost flooded the hotel room once. Oh my gosh. Yes, when you forget to put the plug out, it could be a very bad thing. Laundry day. Exactly how I feel. I tried to do a specific laundry day. It doesn't work. Not for me anyway. Yep. 
Yes, everyone has that wear it again chair that you toss your, your shirts in. Yep, everybody has that chair. There's a chair, uh, a exercise bike or something that your clothes get tossed that you can wear again. Not sure if I should do laundry or just go buy more underwear. <laughs> yes, I agree. How to win at adulting. Get the laundry into the dryer before it smells like mildew. Yes, it is time to wash the clothing when it stands up on its own. Even more so when it walks away. <laughs> Every parent knows that this is a much more accurate laundry system for kids. Whites, darks, clothes you put on two seconds but are too lazy to put away. Yes. Oh, yeah, I had to, I have to rewash all the time. Sometimes it's not because I put stuff in the wash. It's because someone else puts stuff in the wash. And then I go to put stuff in the wash. And I see that their clothes are in the wash and they smell. And so I have to run them again so that I can do my load of laundry. Mm. The curse of a multi-generational household. If you can wash, dry, fold, and put away your laundry in one day, I'm not sure if we can be friends. <laughs> Yours happens because you forget. Yeah, sometimes it's because I forget also. I'm not going to, I will claim that. I tried thinking, oh, I'll just put a sign on the door that says, you know, laundry and wash or, you know, have it flipped, wash, dry, or something like that. But you know what? If it's there all the time, you don't see it anymore. You know how you can, you just don't see things. So I don't see that it says it. It's like that clean, clean dishwasher, dirty dishwasher things. Oh, or you tell the kids to transfer it and they don't. Yeah, because they got more important things to do. They can't take that three minutes to go out and change the laundry. Yeppers, yeppers, yeppers. Having an empty laundry basket is the best five seconds of the week. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. Everybody, it's one hour and three minutes into the show. It is 11.03 in my neck of the woods, which is the East Coast of the United States. Our poll has 12 votes with a shonen a genre, um, anime in the lead. With uh, Esekai in second and Sinin in third and Shoujo in fourth. So thank you guys for that. And thank you for the hearts. Is stolen clean laundry now considered dirty laundry? Hmm. Inqui inquiring dinosaur wants to know because I don't know what kind of dinosaur that is. Guess who's all caught up on the laundry? It's not me, but I'm sure someone is, and I am so proud of you. <laughs> if you're in the chat and you're caught up on your laundry, I'm proud of you. But just don't tell us. Because <sighs> we'll get I irritated at you then. <laughs> I was going to throw in the towel, but then remembered how much laundry I already have. <laughs> <laughs> laundry sort today wash later fold eventually put away put away wait that's a thing i've had some people's philosophy they are as, as long as they're clean and in a, and in a basket they they don't care they don't care if it makes it any further I'll have you know, I did laundry last week, and it only took me six days to put it away. Did you do the laundry? What month is it? Yep. My old sis was like that, kept half of the clean laundry um, in a basket. My sister, I was up visiting my sister, and it's got the coolest um, drying rack. 
it's on wheels. It folds up and it has a sides that fold out where you can hang shirts and things that you can lay things over. And it's pretty darn sturdy. Um, and I thought, wow, that's, that's really cool. And um, I said, send me the link. And I'm still looking at it going, wow, that's so cool. Um, I got to get my uh, laundry room clean where I can have it in there for it to really work. I'd like to be able to roll it outside, you know, because we got beautiful sunny days and um, just let them air dry there. Just think they'd be so nice. While my wife is out of town, I'm doing my laundry and discovered if I just take stuff out that I need every day, I don't have to put anything away. <sighs> yes, you. By the end of the week, all the dirty clothes, all the clean clothes you did are now dirty clothes. So you didn't have to put any of them away. Oh, hey, Tina, the naughty. Did someone mention a rack? I did mention a rack. And it's a glorious rack. Enjoy that coffee. One does not simply use a laundry bag when there is a floor. <laughs> That's so true. So, so true. Oh, I hate this. I had chapstick up here because, oh, and it's, I think I took it into the bedroom. Oh, well. A day will, may come when I fold my laundry, but it is not this day. <laughs> no laundry folding for me. Every time I fold laundry, I really consider becoming a nudist. But then I realize what I look like naked and the urge passes. We have hellos and hellos and hellos. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's so funny. A haiku about laundry. I hate I hate you, laundry. You take up way too much time. Make yourself vanish. I love that haiku. I love that haiku. I don't always forget to switch the laundry from the washer to the dryer, but when I do, it's all the time. <laughs> yes, I do. I do my laundry and I'm like, okay, I set a timer. So when the laundry is done, I can go out there and change it. But then I set the timer and, and it's too early. And so I forget, re forget to reset the timer. And then, you know, five hours later, I'm like, oh, I got to put clothes in the dryer. Yep, do that all the time. Let's check out our poll. We have 13 votes. with Shonen in the first, Isakai in second, Sinan in third, and Shoujo in fourth. Thank you for voting. How to stay on top of laundry when you have two or more kids? You can't. Find a new dream. <laughs> oh, oh, I love it. Yes. The never ending story as a kid. <laughs>
It looks like we have two more memes. Two more memes, everybody. Oh. I was kind of trying to slow down for Lady V to get back, but I don't know if she, I'm not, I can't go much slower. Washing laundry, a must. Drying, understandable, but putting it all away is simply taking things a bit too far. Absolutely. I have no problem uh, taking la laundry out of totes. Or laundry baskets. Yay! Oh, good. You could still hear. Good. I wasn't sure. So I was kind of like, oh, I don't want her to miss all the slides. And this is our last slide. Satisfaction is seeing the bottom of all your laundry baskets. <sighs> then you realize you've got a load in the dryer, one in the washer, a load in front of the washer ready to be washed, and a pile in the bathroom you forgot about. <laughs> yes, I thought I would... <laughs> I'm trying to figure out where that came from. Was there a, a dragon meme recently? Yes, it's only a trick when it's empty. Yes. <laughs> hey, that's not a dragon. It looks like, do I look like a dodo? No, you do not look like a dodo. Uh, it's only a trick. Yes, you're you're fooling yourself. You're fooling yourself. Yes, and next week we will discuss washing the dishes. Uh, I know. Isn't that awful? Well, guys, I know the show is a little bit of oh, the never-ending story one. Yes, Dadman does the dishes. Um, uh. Ignorance is it bl a bliss dang thing. It is, absolutely. Well, everybody, it is an hour and 13 minutes into the show, which is 1113 in my neck of the woods. I have a build today at 1 p.m. So uh, I am going to uh, kind of scooch out of here a little bit early after my, uh, I'll do my uh, little promos here uh, so that I can get some lunch, kind of get settled. Um, and uh, get ready for the show um, to let you see where we're at. This is where we're at in the build. Yeah, it looks pretty much the same. I've built this up, though. I've got done all the kind of boring, just flat part build. And we're actually going to start building buildings and putting flowers and stuff on um, this afternoon. So I'm hoping if I don't get it done today... I'll get it done on Thursday. If I get it done today, I'll start doing the Friends um, TV studio um, tomorrow. And hello, Richmond Auto Exchange. How are you doing today? I hope your Monday is going well. Um, we're getting ready to kind of wrap up. I'm showing what we are going to be doing at 1 p.m. today. Um, we're going to start building uh, the top part. I had to redo this waterfall, these waterfalls and all this multiple times there are many streams that i have on um that i basically say this is the boring stuff you don't have to, excuse me you don't have to watch it or built and it broke at the end so actually i am behind i am further behind than i was when i started so, but yes i finally i think i've got this it's fairly sturdy i got the waterfalls done you can see it has lights, which I think is really kind of cool. Um, and uh, there is a water stream on both ends. So that's kind of neat. There's a little pagoda here. Whoops, you can't see it. And there's a little pagoda on the back side. But we'll be putting trees here and stuff here for the re next part. So, um, yeah, that's kind of where we're at. And I can turn it with confidence, I say, and then I say, and then it breaks. But I'm going to be very careful with turning it. So that is where we're at with that. And, like, we're going to do that at 1 p.m. Yes, it has lights. It's not, 
not cool. Um, so I've got actually three uh, containers. Uh, so three steps already sorted out so we can get some of this build done because I, I wanted to build yesterday and I'm like, no, this is the good part. I want to um, do it during the regular stream. So uh, I've been waiting. So like I said, oh, oh, no, see, I told you I'd break it by touching it. But that's okay. I can just put these back on top. I told you I'd break it. Oh, well, it's just one piece. We'll fix it. So, okay. Yes, 1 p.m. stream. I need to sit it on the Lazy Susan. You're right. So, um, everybody, come back. 1 p.m. Enjoy the build we're going to do. And let me quickly go through some of my slides here. Um, as I said, Team Park streamers, they're at a little over $3,800 um, toward their $5,000 goal. Uh, go over and support them. If you can't support them financially, uh, grab their link and share it on social media. Also, when uh, I have blocking out the boredom um, builds, I'm bored, so let's build something. I can do those at any time. Uh, I will announce on Twitter and threads when I do those impromptu streams. My morning musings with Mrs. Dadman Walking are Monday through Sunday. They're daily. Um, I'm going to be doing the puzzle editions for a while. So, um, uh, I hope you enjoy them. Uh, also, I have a P.O. box. You can check out uh, info pages on my YouTube and Twitch to find out what those um, that address is. You can st send stuff to me. You can send stuff to Dead Man Walking 55 You can send stuff to Angawo, uh, who is my youngest, who streams over on Twitch. Um, uh, send anything there and... Um, and we will receive it. And you are welcome. You are welcome so much. I enjoy doing it. And I say you guys uplift me as much as I hope I uplift you. And I thank you all for being here. It is always, always a blast. Um, I uh, And if you like what you see and you want to, you can support my channel through Kofi. And I thank everybody who has supported me through Kofi. I hope I have sent personal thank yous. I try to, but sometimes that Kofi is, it's hard to figure out who you've sent stuff to and, and who you haven't. So if you have gifted me anything on Kofi and I did not thank you in an email, I personally thank you now if, if you hear me. Thank you so much. It was, it's all appreciated. I actually um, have something I'm going to uh, get. The I was looking for something uh, for the stream, but I think m the first thing I need to really get is um, a laptop. Um, it will help me a lot um, in so many different um, aspects of the of my streaming. So uh, that's the first thing I'm going to get. And I will be able to get it completely with uh, gifts and donations uh, that have been uh, given to me. So thank you guys for that. Uh, I like to kind of let people kind of know where uh, they're the, you know, if, if they donate money, uh, where it's going to, because I do want to put it back into the stream if possible. Um, and so it is going to go to a laptop. And I thank you guys so much for all of that support. And also I have a throne, which is a gift list. Um, it's a wish list that for creators and it's private, which means you can send something through it and I don't know your information and you can send something and I, and you will not know my information. I have gifted people stuff from people. I've received stuff. It's really fun and it's really cool. Um, I have seen those, um, I was thinking, uh, I was looking at some, so it's kind of like the thing we were looking at for your mom's house. Um, but yeah, there's so many, um, so many different things to do. Yeah, we've kind of looked into uh, something like that. Um, it takes the 5G and it converts it to a Wi-Fi channel. Um, the, the one that we looked at, um, and that's, that's kind of the, 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 the thing. It's very, very interesting, a very, a new concept in, uh, Wi-Fi. 
especially if you travel and uh, camp and stuff like that. My sister got uh, one that uh, uh, for uh, camping, uh, she needed it for some work and there was no uh, not a good Wi-Fi. And she got one and um, we were two campsites over and we could um, access the Wi-Fi. We were watching Netflix on our phones and all this kind of fun stuff. Um, we couldn't, well, because it was far away. I mean, it wasn't the strongest signal, but we were two campsites away from the hub. Um, um, and I think it would, I think if it we had it and it was near us, we wouldn't have a problem. Um, but um, yeah, it's a really, it's a cool, it's a cool thing where they take the, uh, the 5G and then it converts to a, a signal that you can use to stream with or whatever. But yeah, very, very cool concept. Need to research, research more on it. Um, but I think it's uh, fascinating. Um, also, these are the throne gifts or give, even gifts. Not all of them were for throne. Most of them were uh, gifts that I have received. Three peeing bears, which have made into a men's uh, educational um, bathroom uh, diorama. We have Stonehenge, Elizabeth Tower, the S Starry Night, and two ghost shells from the video game Destiny 2. So thank you all who have gifted me those. I have my live streams and VODs, YouTube at Mrs. Dadman Walking 55, Twitch, Mrs. Dadman Walking, no punctuation, no numbers. And you can check out my streaming schedule on Twix at M Dadman Walking. I'm trying to figure out if I could do the scheduling on threads yet, but I don't know if I can. So, but so right now, for sure, all the tr uh, reminders will be on Twix. Um, so let's check out the poll. Um, and we are going to end it in five, four, three, two, one. And the poll is ended. And let's go find it. The uh, I like this anime genre best. Shonen or adventure is in first. Then we have Esekai, which is where you transport to another world. Sinan, which is the mature dark themed one, is third. And Shoujo romance is in fourth. Thank you all 13 who have voted for it. Um, so on that note, I will see you at 1 p.m., I hope, for my live build stream. Um, and so remember to be kind, show love. You're not promised tomorrow, so go to bed each night with no regrets. And most of all, I wish you peace. I hope you all have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time it is in your neck of the woods. You have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye. Thank you, Lady V. Thank you, Lady V, for the link. I will see you guys at 1 p.m.